Hey everyone, Brandon from Canon here, and today we're going to deep dive into Canon's new Dual Pixel CMOS Autofocus 2 system that you'll find in both our new EOS R5 and EOS R6 cameras. Both the EOS R5 and EOS R6 are powered by the Digic X image processor, bringing powerful new autofocus performance, precision, and subject detection tracking capability, helping to ensure that these high performance cameras will track fast moving subjects to match their up to 20 frame per second burst capability. One of the most impressive features of this new system is the autofocus coverage area, meaning how far across the scene that a user can interact with the autofocus system to select a subject. This can be either by tracking a subject automatically with the face plus tracking autofocus method or selecting a focusing point position manually. With both of these cameras, you'll find the ability to have up to approximately 100% coverage when using a compatible lens, which means the ability to have approximately 100% vertical and 100% horizontal coverage, enabling outstanding creative compositional control where the camera will follow the subject even when they're well off center. Now, if you want to take control manually, it's possible to use the rear LCD touchscreen, the touch and drag autofocus interface, or even the multi-controller joystick, which is new to the EOS R series. When using it, now be moved in larger sweeping movements to intuitively select to the far reaches of the screen. On the back end, when using the face plus tracking autofocus method with an EOS R5 or EOS R6 camera, there are a maximum of 1,053 automatic selection autofocus zones that cover the scene. Photographers and video creators love the autofocus system of the EOS R, which sports an impressive 143 automatic selection autofocus zones, but we're now talking about more than seven times that amount of zones with more speed and precision at your fingertips. These zones work in conjunction with three subject detection settings, people detection, animal detection, and no priority, which is for subjects that are neither people nor animal. When setting people as your priority, the camera will look to track a person in your scene, utilizing features like eye detection, face detection, and now deep learning head detection and autofocus, which was adopted from our flagship EOS 1DX Mark III camera for situations when a face or eye of a subject is obscured or facing away from the camera. New to EOS is animal detection autofocus. Setting animal as your priority will track either a cat, dog, or bird in your scene. This will follow their whole body, face, or eye depending on the composition and framing chosen, helping to get the focus right where you want it, on the eye. A big concern for many of the event photographers and photojournalists out there is low light focusing where flash focus assist cannot be used. When using the one point autofocus method in an f1.2 aperture lens, the EOS R5 camera is capable of focusing down to EV minus six light levels, and the EOS R6 is capable of focusing down to EV minus 6.5 light levels. To put this in perspective, this is similar to focusing on a nighttime landscape with only a quarter moonlight available in the sky. Lastly, adopted from the EOS 1DX Mark III camera is the Intelligent Tracking and Recognition Servo Autofocus menu. This menu page features servo autofocus cases, which are preset yet fully customizable adjustments that can be made to the autofocus algorithm, which fine tune the tracking and response for moving subjects of varying types of movements. But we also added an auto case, which is a versatile and user-friendly setting where the camera recognizes and determines the subject's movements. This setting requires no additional adjustments or tailoring by the user. Now please know that these are only the highlights of the new Dual Pixel Seamless Autofocus 2 system, and there is so much more that we just could not fit into this video. So for more information, head over to the Canon USA website. Thanks for tuning in, and we really look forward to seeing what you co-create with Canon.